it shows dark in here. What are you talking about? Wait, are your eyes closed? Yeah, I can't see with my eyes closed. Just open your eyes. I'm healed. Oh, hey guys. Today is Friday, January 20th, and it's National Cheese Lovers Day. Say, it's so beautiful out, isn't it? Oh, and I love cheese. We're inside. And anyways, we have to do the pledges before the weather. Fine. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and Crown Penguin Pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Respect, responsibility, and citizenship too. They bring out the best in me and you. Trustworthiness and being fair helps to show others that I really care. We all know it's right. We all know it's good. We all do the things that we know we should. I think we all know the drill by now. Please remain standing for our 60 seconds of reflection. Weather reporters for some more info. Sure. Commence the right. I mean, commence the weather report, Ben. Thanks, team. It looks like there will be a little change in the air. Today it will be nice and warm, but we will see some more clouds and change in the wind direction. You know what that means a better chance of rain and colder temperatures. Speaking of cooler temperatures, have you seen the lost and found lately? There must be 6,000 jackets in it. Well, maybe not 6,000, but a lot. And check out the jackets on, of the playground. There are, I guess what I'm trying to say is, check the lost and found in the playground if you've lost your jacket. These jackets aren't cheap. Now back to yours, now back to the amazing anchors in the studio. Thanks for the awesome report, Ben. Seems like Florida's finally warming up to the tropical temperatures again. Wait, it's warming up already? But I love the cold weather. We still have next winter. I hear we have a special guest today. Who is it? That's true. Miss Barron's is here to tell us all about next week. Next week? What is happening next week? It's Literacy Week! Let's listen to Miss Barron's as she tells us all about it. Deal. Take it away, Miss Barron's. Thanks for stopping by, Miss Barron's. So, what brings you to SNA Studios? I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about Celebrate Literacy Week that's happening next week. So, what can we expect next week for Literacy Week? So, we have um, an agenda for everybody with daily um, events that are happening. And your teacher will hopefully give you um, a form that looks like this. And every day you're invited to participate. So Monday is wear your hat to school. Tuesday, you can bring a beach towel and sunglasses. And Wednesday is gonna be buddy reading. And if your teacher um, is okay with it, you can bring your favorite stuffy to school and read with your stuffy or partner up with a friend in class or even partner up with a, a class like kindergarten or first grade or second grade to read to. Um, Thursday is sneaky reading, so you're invited to bring a flashlight. And Friday is our out of uniform day for um, dressing up as your favorite character. And at each day we have an event for you guys. So it, or 
not really an event, but um, just a log so you can tell us who you read with, where you read, and all these different things. It's very simple. And when you're done at the end of the week, we have a brand new fancy mailbox that's going to be in the main hallway. You put this paper in there and you'll be entered to win a drawing. We are going to pull 10 of these forms for posters and books and all kinds of fun stuff that Miss Monroe has helped secure for us. That sounds great. What, what, what can you tell us about literacy in the Arts Night? So Literacy in the Arts Night is on Wednesday. And... Today or yesterday, there was a paper that went home. You guys are going to pick a book and an activity that sounds fun to you. We have um, Starry Night, Van Gogh, Shrinky Dinks, and a story with Miss Flieger. We also have Mr. Yo doing a book about sounds and playing instruments. And we have um, Miss Robinson doing a fun story about um, Iggy Peck Architect, and she's going to be building a bridge. So there's all kinds of fun activities um, happening that night. It's from 4 to 5 p.m., and we invite everybody to come. Thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for that information. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I guess that's true. Anyways, it's time to wrap this thing up. Like a burrito. I heard that. I know. Keep going, penguins, and remember to work hard and stay kind. Have, Have an, an amazing, amazing day. day.